Okay, well I just teleported over to Art to my zoo, check on the health of my uh, specimens. And I brought some life grenades, so anyone who's significantly injured. Hey there, big guy. Hey bear, why are you sticking your head in the dirt? Yeah, he's pretty well injured. He's okay, have a cow, he's a sheep. Alright, hey bear, why are you sticking in the dirt? Let's see, he had five, so it heals five. It's a little less than I was expecting. No, oh, no, it's going. Still another second. So that's good. I was worried about the end because he took a pretty good hit when I brought him in. Elephant's only down one. Sheep, polar bear, bighorns from uh, Twilight Forest. Rhino could use a hit. So the buff lasts about four seconds. How about you guys? Are you alright in there? Armadillo and a chocobo. Armadillo's okay. Chocobo, I like, yep. Hey, I want a bunny. That's right, you guys can have some juice. There you go. Affects everyone in the area. Cookie Koo, all healed. And my little bunny. Alright. Bunnies apparently you can uh, breed as well. So, Alright, remember when you're out there shaving a uh, sheep, if you get an extra big butt, that's not a sheep, that's a polar bear. Alright, so I'm going to keep half my life grenades over here for uh, taking care of Zoo. Okay, now this is fun. Here I was in this really pretty cove, which I'm going to give a waypoint name to here. I will just call this one Crystal Cove. Give me a safe spot for a waypoint right here, a map. Very pretty. Then I want to go back and see what that crazy thing was. Over there, I have a pretty good idea what that thing was. And I'm going to pick it up in the Titan Band and try to get it home. I'm pretty sure that's a tree ant. Because it's in this lush forest. And it's big and weird looking. It's unfortunately, it's near this dungeon. But look at that. I'm reasonably certain that's a tree ant. Yep, tree ant. Now you're mine. Where's a good place to teleport to with something like that? Oh heck, I'll bring you home. There. You're supposed to be reasonably passive. Hmm. I do hope you're not going to cause any trouble in there. That's my teleport spot. That was kind of a terrible place to put him. Well, I think I can catch him in a capsule station. Oh yeah, this won't go horribly wrong in my lab and blow shit up. Where are you going? Oh well, it's kind of an entertaining problem. There's an ant in my lab. You're supposed to be reasonably passive, so if I put this here, dial it down... Two, three, height of three, stand right there. Good, gotcha. Ooh, we gotta get this thing out of there. Where would I put you? Where do I put you? Hmm. Do I have a room for monsters? Well, he's not really a monster monster. I think there was a room upstairs. Oh, I remember there was that whole hallway where I got a... There's all kinds of weird stuff spawning. Not the throne room. Yeah, this room right here. This room right here. Let me put up some fences. Now I can keep this guy as a kind of a trophy. Oh yeah, I got nothing to build out of right now. How about my other backpack? 
Oh hell, I'll just use wood for now. So for now... I don't know if this will hold him or not. But I intend to get me... thing back though. Let's see if that'll keep him in for now. Hey Mr. Ant, how you doing? Oh yeah, you're too tall to get over that. I am quite happy with that solution. There's this thing buzzing around my head though. Kinda silly. Cool, I got me a tree and exploring way out here to the north, uh, a bit away from uh, Danbury here. There's another village right there, that's why I came out here, but there's this weird thing under the sand. Now I was able, I first found this on the other, <coughs> on the other end, I first found it over here, it's a, right there. And it, it's just a big empty box of uh, cobblestone. It had a skeleton spawner. There's three entrances, two leading down the stairs, one leading to a back room. I found more of this exposed here in the desert, dug in just trying to see if it was the same structure or not. And on the scary side, I found this. So, huh. There's water there, there's TNT here, some kind of a trigger, so I've disabled that, but I'm really curious what's going on because I didn't see any water um, on the other side, and I don't see where this is, how this is working, there must be another piece of redstone underneath to connect it to something, here we go, there we go, something going on here. And of course, first thing I'm going to do is plug any potential exits. There's some pistons, which would, I have no idea, push all this over and close off this gap, but I'm not sure why that gap is of any particular interest. Let me take a quick pick in here. Yeah, this is ominous. Plug it up light it up. Fun, 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 fun. I'll have to bring uh, maybe Rut out here to check it out. And there's some gates, iron fences, well, iron bars with a torch on the top. So interesting. I don't know what these pistons are supposed to accomplish. Again, I came in here it's the unexpected way. Looks like the pistons would have blocked entrance to this, which would have trapped you inside. Interesting. At the moment I'm out of torches. Let me quickly check my wood. I've always got some wood here. We'll use you. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go in the front door on this, but it's purely by accident that part of this was exposed in the sand. And I'm hearing mobs, but I'm not seeing them yet. So, is another of these better dungeons dungeons? I have no idea which one. There's some kind of red carpet. Those are always scary. Now I'll just run over here and plug this up briefly. What is happening here? Here's some cobblestone. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'm certainly going in towards the heart of this thing. Hmm. Wonder where all the mobs are. Oh boy. 
this one came with torches, leads up to this scary little alcove, which may or may not have a tra there's a pressure plate. And some kind of piston, so that one is a trap. Disable that. Hmm. It's pretty, it's just empty. Alright, well I'll definitely be coming back out here. I'll save this. I always try to save this for my guys. In case any of my guys ever want to come hang out and play, I save them all the good adventures. So, okay, well here's some buttons. That's interesting. Alright, so that's going to close me in, or theoretically would have if I hadn't already uh, cut through that. Neat. Neat, neat stuff. They're not sticky pistons, so it's not going to pull them back. Alright, I'll save that for my, uh, my guys.